Wash up your face, boys, come up your hair. Now get ready for your coffee and bread. Hard times in the Wise County Jail. The Blue Ridge Institute is on the east end of the Crooked Road. It's a major venue in Ferrum and really launches visitors onto the road from the foothill side. The Blue Ridge Institute is part of Ferrum College and we're the state center for Blue Ridge folklore and folk life. So we're a rural life study center. We have a gallery with exhibits. We have an 1800 period farm museum. We have an archive. We have a recording company. We deal with documenting, preserving, and presenting the rural life and heritage of the region. This is the 38th year of the Blue Ridge Folklife Festival, and it takes place on the fourth Saturday in October each year. And it was started as a celebration of rural traditional arts, things that people did for themselves within the community, and things that they learned either through their family or something that was passed down within the community. The festival takes in everything from foodways of traditional foods that are prepared and sold and eaten within a community. It takes on rural recreation such as the coon dog water race and the mule jumping and the horse pulling. It takes on hobbies such as people have with their antique tractors or their antique cars. We look at a lot of the crafts that people are still doing that are practiced within the community or within the home. And we look at the many different musical traditions, whether it's religious music or dance music or just songs about events and things that took place within a community. It looks at the entire picture of folk life in the Blue Ridge. This county has the reputation of being one of the largest producers of non-taxpaid whiskey in the nation. And we have some of the older retired people that have been involved in it in years past and not now. They uh, tell the people how it's made, revenueers and makers and haulers telling stories about what things used to be like when they made this as a means of producing an income for a family. We have people here this year from, I think, five foreign countries. We probably have people from a dozen different states, and we have community people. This is a homecoming for Franklin County people that have moved out of the area and they come back once a year, and it's become a homecoming for people that will see people here once a year, and every year they get together here. So we have people from far and wide that attend the festival. It's hard to see the entire festival in one day, and there's about a dozen different activities going on, so usually there's something that interests someone. Support for On the Crooked Road was provided by these sponsors.